was a college athlete, played football and basketball in high school, got married, started to put on a little weight. I was, you know, 235 pounds. My plan was to get back to my college football weight. Decided to start exercising and started to lose some weight. And I, I thought this was, you know, I thought it was good. In three months, I dropped 65 pounds. That was when, you know, people started asking me, are you okay? Uh, you know, what's going on here? I was drinking crazy amounts of water and always, you know, having to go to the bathroom. Friends and family convinced me to get some tests. The doctor said my blood sugar was so high, I was lucky to be alive. I was diagnosed with diabetes. We set up an appointment with an endocrinologist. You know, the first visit was with a diabetic educator. The biggest thing I remember from that appointment was practicing how to give the insulin shot. That was kind of the time when it hit me, like, this is it, this, you know, this is what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of my life. Since the diagnosis, I'm more active. It gives me a reason to get out and bike or run. One thing that I've gotten involved with is, you know, the Tour de Cure. I raise a good amount of money every year. I also am a team captain, so I have people join me on the ride. Being a teacher, there's other kids in school that have diabetes, and I kind of always try to let them know I'm with you. We're kind of in the same boat. You know, if you have any problems or questions, you know, I'm, I'm someone who you can, you know, come and talk to. Testing gives you a baseline. It's kind of something to look forward to when I go to the doctors and see what the numbers are. Make sure I'm in range. It's almost an opportunity to give myself a pat on the back and say, you know, you are doing the right thing. I tell everyone, don't put off your tests because everything you learn about your health can help you live a better life.